Ooh, that was creepy. Spooky. spooky. <laughs> that was really good, Martin. And you know what? This weather is spooky. Indeed. It's also a bit rare. I mean, we've only had it 10 times since we started records. Only mm. twice since 50 years. Well, I can't say twice now because we had three times. It okay. It's actually measurable. We actually had a little bit of measured snow. 0 0.1, so it's like the very okay. minimum. So you're saying this is the third time in history? No, no, no. Third time in the past 50 years. In, okay, got you. So third time in the past 50, we've seen <laughs> snowy Halloween. And what's funny wow. is the last time we saw that was 2019. So, you know. Gotcha. It, it, it feels like it's not that long ago, but right. I do want to show you. We still have some more on the way. Here's your live look outside. We got Michigan City. We got the South Bend. You can see that large counterclockwise motion right there. It's that low pressure. Low pressure is basically going to pass right over us. Right now, it's over Lake Michigan. They actually could see a water spout or two today. That's just really dependent on that. Still going to be quite cool out there. A lot of snow moving into parts of Michigan. We'll be watching this pretty closely, but as the day progresses, we could start seeing some of those roads maybe seeing on those bridges and overpasses a little bit on the dicier side as temperatures, especially once they dip below freezing, everything stops melting as soon as it hits the ground, which is what's happening right now outside. We're seeing basically every all those snowflakes will hit the ground and immediately melt because the ground is too warm. But once we get below freezing, we could start seeing those conditions on some of the bridges and overpasses get a little bit rougher for that morning commute. So just keep an eye out. As you're going to be heading out for that Wednesday morning, we could also still see a couple of those snowflakes. I really want to show you the reason why those bridges do freeze first, because as you will notice these roads, you know, this was yesterday afternoon, a little bit warmer than it is now. 54 was that road temp. The roads only can lose that heat through the surface. But once you get to the bridge, notice that bridge was 10 degrees cooler yesterday than what we had for around that Monday afternoon. The bridges, they lose that heat underneath on the sides on top. They have all the area where they can really lose a lot of that heat. So that's why those bridges are always the problematic parts first before most of the roads. Overlooking Mishawaka, not seeing a whole lot of snow right now, but again, don't worry. We'll be seeing more of that as the day progresses. Roads, we could start seeing a little bit of those iffiness as we head into our overnight, but the snow showers will really become light as we head into our overnight with temperatures getting very chilly uh, below freezing more than likely by the time we get to around that midnight or so. But the wind chills are something that's just going to be inescapable for a lot of us. We'll be watching those feel like temperatures dip into the 20s. We won't even be feeling like we're in the upper 30s by tomorrow afternoon. But hey, the trick or treat forecast. Take a look at this right here. We are going to be looking on the very chilly side. I want to hear this. The it's going to be almost completely dark by about seven o'clock. So make sure you're extra careful if you are going to be doing late night trick or treating and also to bundle up as it's going to be quite cold for your spooky holiday. All right, we're going to get in your 10 day forecast. Got those temperatures getting a little bit warmer as we get into Friday and Saturday. Yeah, we have a little bit of a chance for maybe a snowflake or two Wednesday, but we'll dry out. On that second half of your Wednesday into your Thursday and Friday, rain chances do return Saturday and Sunday, but the bulk of that's really going to wait until late Sunday and into Monday as the system exits. Of course, we're also getting an extra hour of sleep in between that Saturday and Sunday. We're going to cool down, unfortunately, as we head back into our next work week, guys, with those temperatures getting back into the 40s, below freezing temperatures. But as of right now, it doesn't look like we have any uh, more snow, any wintry mix chances as of yet. Maybe that Thursday system could give us a little bit of a chance, but luckily that Sunday, Monday system not going to be giving us any real problems when it comes to winter mix. Yeah, you gave us a forewarning about the fact that the ground is really warm, so no major impacts to speak of right now. Oh, right? no, no. As of right now, I mean, we haven't even heard of anything, like even yeah. on bridges. When I was driving in about an hour and a half ago, mm -hmm. bridges were completely clear. It's really okay. not until we get into our overnight if we do continue to see a little gotcha. more of that snowfall with the temperatures getting as cold as they'll be. Mm -hmm. A lot of those bridges will be below freezing, so it could start accumulating, especially if people aren't driving on it as much. Okay, good to know. Three words, avoid the bypass. That's Thank you, right. Martin. We appreciate it. All right, <laughs> there will be little ghosts and goblins searching for some treats tonight. We will explain that coming up. Stay there.